Yo, what's going on, Sexy Simulator Squad? So today, we got a special day for you. It is Manticore's release. So Manticore, fun fact, was technically released in 2016 as an April Fool's joke, and now actually released under the name Manticorus. Uh, but it's the Manticore from back in the day. This is what he looks like. He's sick looking, dude. What's your recolor? I want to buy the recolor. Oh, the recoil the recolor sick. I do like the green, but the the purple is better for me personally because this is what he looked like when he was in the game back in the day. <clears throat> the Anubis, by the way, that I'm playing is just a friend of mine. I told him to play as good as possible. I told him to try hard his brains out because uh, I believe Manticorus is going to be completely broken. Now, here's the thing. Obviously, I'm gonna pause because we gotta read through these abilities, right? I gotta, I gotta let you guys know if you already know all the abilities and the inner workings of them, you can skip past this part. It's normally about five to six minutes, um, but this one might be a little longer. Okay, so passive, straight up, he gains 100 stacks of ferocity by hitting basic attacks, killing uh, enemy minions, enemy gods, or getting assists on enemy minions or gods lane or jungle doesn't matter. Once he has 100 stacks. He loses all ferocity and gains an attack speed buff equal to 15% plus 1% uh, percent per level. And you also gain a permanent stack of monstrosity after that buff runs out. And once what a stack of monstrosity does is it's 1% permanent lifesteal, 1% permanent ability lifesteal. So every time you get, <clears throat> excuse me, you get a uh, 100 ticks of damage or a hundred like auto attacks on anything you gain basically one percent lifesteal one percent uh ability lifesteal now that passive that attack speed passive it, it initially lasts for six seconds but by landing consecutive auto attacks you can update that that uh attack speed buff for a maximum of 12 seconds to double that that passive from six to 12 and it's kind of like uh Kukulin alt or Kukulin uh, like mana bar that you turn into a rage monster. You kind of have to wait until you're in a battle, like teeter on that edge and then pop that passive right when you start a battle so you can get that attack speed going and, and slap it up. Most of the time though, if I'm just completely honest, I say forget the, the, the passive and all you care about really is the permanent monstrosity stacks. Obviously, the better you get, the more you can abuse it, whatever. It doesn't matter. Ability one, Acid Rain. He he throws down a cloud, a, a moving cloud, kind of like New Wall One, except it doesn't last nearly as long. It does initial damage, and then it does tick damage for anyone that stays in that area. And it is a slow. You can see the slow duration down here. Uh, lasts for three seconds. Honestly, not too much of, uh, not too intricate, right? His two is called Poison Barb. Now this interacts with Acid Rain and Death from Above. Um, and an auto attack, by the way. So there's three ways to, to proc this. But basically, it's like an AMC alt. It You shoot a barb and it sticks inside them. When you auto attack or you hit them with an ability, it will proc that, do explosion damage. You can see the, the two damage types right here. And it will create a root as well as 50% anti heal for five seconds, which is really, really good. Um, if you miss the target, don't worry. It will still land on the ground. You can still auto attack it or use an ability and blow it up and it will create an AOE root. Obviously, you want to hit them with it, though, because you want the double damage, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Stock Prey is an interesting ability that is basically like Nuwa's uh, one again. You know, kind of a weird thing, but it's got a, a stealth. Only this time, it's a stealth for your entire team, right? So anyone that walks in it is stealth, and it lasts for three minutes. It's a patch of grass that lasts for three minutes, and you're stealth inside of it. And uh, you can have a maximum of three patches like Artemis Traps. Actually, I think they updated that to four, but it doesn't matter. You can have a maximum of three patches, last for three minutes, gives you movement speed while you're inside it, and movement speed when you run out of it. So when you run out of that little thing, you'll get a three-second a three second buff of movement speed, depending on what rank it is. And the uh, ultimate is called Death from Above. Basically, think about Freya ult on absolute steroids. It hits, I believe, 12 times. Yeah, down 12 bursts of damage over the course of three uh, three seconds. And every time you hit them, every initial hit will reduce protection, re pr reduce prots by 5% maximum of eight stacks. So you can reduce their prots by 40% with this. 
it's pretty nuts. And the one thing I did skip over was his basic tax. I, I know you see this big ass line of progression right here. Basically, his basic tax do more damage than normal basic tax. However, they do 90% of your damage up front and then 20% damage on the back end, scaling all the way up to an extra 40% damage. So you go, so every auto attack is 110 to 130% normal to what a normal hunter's is. Now, I personally believe you build him with Transcendence or Dominance or in, you know, Hydras, and you Poison Barb, Acid Rain, and just slap the bejesus out of them because that ultimate is insane. So this damage per burst says 95. I know you can't see it because of my face cam, but it says 95 at max rank. It does 12 times. Let me, I'm just going to, I'm just going to calculate this real quick for you guys, because I want you to understand how absurd this is. It's 95 times 12, right? That's base, a 1,140 base. Each tick has 25% scaling, which means it has 300% scaling overall. Or maybe it's 20%. Let's just go in the lower end just to be safe. It's 20% scaling per tick. So we'll do, what is um, what is 20% times 12? 240%. So let's say you build him power, you have 400 power, and you're gonna multiply that by 2.4. That's gonna add an extra 960 to the initial 1100 damage. So that ultimate by itself does 2000 damage while reducing their prots. So I think he's definitely more of an ability hunter. You want to build him more like you build the Onhurs or the Chirons, in my opinion. But I don't know. I could be wrong. Let's get into the game and try it out, shall we? I'm going ability-based in game number one. So we'll go Transcendence, or we'll start with Tier 2 Trans. We might go into Dominance. I'm not sure yet. Uh, and then I'm just going to go like a pretty generic, pretty generic stuff here. Grab this Wing Shard. This is his auto attack, by the way. He has a very slow scaling auto at the start. And um, I'm going to go ahead. I know it's not ideal to do this, but I'm going to go ahead. And this is his, his stealth right here. You can see it. If you auto attack, boom. Boom. And then when you leave it, you can see this, this movement speed buff I have, right? Uh, so one thing I didn't say was that Every time you auto attack someone, you apply a stack, a stacking debuff. I'm not sure what it's called exactly. Oh, it's called Venom. The first auto attack you land on an enemy applies one stack of Venom. The second auto attack, or I'm sorry, the first auto attack you land applies four stacks of Venom. The second auto attack is going to apply, um, is going to apply one stack. So basically that first one is the big auto attack. You'll see here, you'll see you start see the tick damage start to go up over and over. I'll barb him and then I'll root him. And yeah, basically, I'm actually going to put these on no on quick cast here just so I can see everything. And I'm going to place these stealth pools down pretty much everywhere. Dude, the root. The root, man. So yeah, like I said, when you put the barb in someone, which is not a euphemism, when you put the barb on someone and then you detonate it, they are rooted. Nice. I'm using my one as my main clear source, by the way, and I'm going to alt here. Doo -doo 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 yeah, that's just honestly not okay. Honestly, not okay. Hold on. I'm getting the red buff. There we go. And you can see I have one stack of monstrosity already. I haven't been paying attention to it. Like I said, you can see the passive bar fill up a little bit if you want. Um, this little red bar right here, once it fills up, you gain your buff. Um, and you can use these stealth, I guess, what are they really called? Stock praise. You can use them to get to lane faster or to ambush someone or... I don't know, there's so many different ways you can use it. By the way, worth mentioning... Uh, 
the one does not have to be used from as close as I'm using it. You can actually throw it pretty far. I'm going to auto this blue buff so I can show you. So you, you can see the targeter here, right? You can actually throw it pretty far away from you and uh, use it for a, as a really good poking tool. But like maybe you throw the barb and you just use it as a poking tool like that. You keep your distance. It's pretty safe poke. It's a really safe clear. You're feeling pretty good afterwards, in my opinion. Oh, you are deceased. So one thing to say about the ultimate is uh, it is automatically casted, right? So like when you when you trigger that ultimate, when you press that button to turn your ult on, it starts shooting instantly. Like you don't get a second to aim. So you really have to like pre-aim your ultimate a little bit. Which I know seems a little convoluted, but it's true. His clear is so good, man. I can't land autos. Big slow. Look at that tick damage. Dude, look at my auto attacks. Like, my, I think this... Uh, well, actually, I think it might just count as autos. I was going to say, there's got to be like an ability button, right? But there's I don't think there is. I think it just counts as autos. Bro, the tick damage on that one is so good. It's actually so strong. And the initial damage, too. I mean, 190. The explosion on the barb, if you don't actually stick it in them, by the way, doesn't doesn't root. I'm dead. Oh my god. My alt, I hit all 12 ticks, did 400 damage. He lived so long because he was life stealing off of the wave. But jeez, dude. <laughs> but jeez, dude. The damage is otherworldly. Otherworldly. I honestly might just go straight crusher here. Like, I, I know you shouldn't really build him in this specific way. But I'm just trying to uh, accentuate the point that I believe he's an ability-based hunter. And the one has travel time too, so you can clear very safely. Uh, my two does do damage and it does go through minions. Oh, there's my passive. See, if I was a better player, I would have paid attention to my passive proccing there and done some damage. What does that do to towers? So actually, believe it or not, he's not as good at tower damage as other hunters. Because... Most of, well, not most, but like a big portion of your damage on your alt actually comes from that tick damage. And you don't get tick damage on towers. It's just the straight up initial hit. So you got to be a little spookied. Oh my God. It's, it's, I don't know what to tell you other than this is absurd. Like this is just not... Or it shouldn't be allowed. I have my passive again. So the monstrosity that I've built up so far, which is the lifesteal portion of my passive, is giving me, at the moment, 6% lifesteal and 6% ability lifesteal. So he's got really good built-in sustain. Very, very good built-in sustain. I actually wonder if I can one-hit him later in the game. If I can get full build. I missed. Ouch. Um, what's my next item? 
I kind of want to go the the like jungle route. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that tick damage or the uh the burst damage. Like the barb one combo. Barb did 200, one did 240 plus crusher. Like the barb one combo does a lot of damage. You can even just use it to poke like that actually. Even if you're not going to hit him with it, just throw it on the ground next to him and throw an auto at the same time and just detonate next to him. Get a little bit of tick damage out. Dude, the range on that is so good. Ouch. I did not mean to do that. Perfect. Right, we got the red buff. What do I want to go here? I want to go power. Like Blood Forge would be really good. Um, but let's stick to like a normal build. Like if you're actually doing a, like chunky auto attack damage. You're probably going to go dominance. Because it's a little bit of attack speed. And I do actually have my passive pretty close to proc. So what, I, what I'm going to do here is see if I can trigger it. Does my one? Oh, my one does trigger it. Damn. If my one didn't trigger my passive, I would have held my autos until I could. Uh-oh. Not bad. So much damage. My barb did 450. My alt, I only hit him eight times, but it did 500 damage. I missed quite a quite a few ticks of my alt. I now have 9% ability lifesteal. It just seems so strong to me, man. Like, I don't know what to say. Like, look at all the little numbers just stacking up. that much damage it should honestly be illegal what are my autos healing me for here actually let's see 1000 hp and then 1150 hp so i healed 150 hp with my one without needing to actually buy any amount of ability lifesteal or actual lifesteal Is that tick damage going to kill? Oh, no, it's not. This is just insane. I got to remember you can throw that out from a distance. I keep, I keep for some reason getting close and being like, you got to be close. You got to be close. You really don't. My three, by the way, is leveling up more and more. So my movement speed buff is getting higher and higher. A couple of strategic placed... Stealth patches gets me to wave really fast. And I am very, very close to my passive proccing. But he's not here, so it's fine. Man, you can really feel that passive, though. Right now, my passive is giving me 30% attack speed. Technically, it's giving me 32%. Because it's 15% base and then 1% per level, so. I don't, like, I, I know that people are going to make fun of Steve. And I encourage you, please don't. He's a friend of mine. And he's helping me with this video and this showcase. But, um, I will say, I don't think that he knew that I had 50% anti-heal in my kit. Because I don't even need to buy anti heal. I just do damage. Look at that tick damage it's doing to Titan there. My one just did 600 damage to Titan. And I didn't even have to get remotely close. 
I, I can hit Titan from here. What the hell? I can actually hit Titan from here. That's crazy. I really want to hit level 20 so I can test my ult out. I just want to see if I can one hit him. <laughs> I need one more level. Perfect. What's my, what's my, I was going to say last item. It technically will, it'll be the last item of this video, but what's the last item of my build so far? I believe it to be blood forge will probably be my, my, my next up item. All right, let's go grab it. I have a maxed out ultimate. Actually, I need another 100 gold. Because I need to get a 500 pot. I don't want to hit him. Oh, bummer. Rest in peace, my clear. Ow. Dude, my lifesteal. Crazy. They will learn to fear me. Actually crazy. So I want to see my ultimate. Once I get this red buff. My ultimate is going to do 180 damage per tick and it ticks 12 times. So I'll math that out after. I know I don't know if you guys can see it. You can see my scaling here, so it's it's 95 plus 95, so it's 190 actually. 190 times 12. I want to barb him and then alt him and just see if I one hit him. I missed. That's fine. Oh my god. Yeah, my ult by itself did 1,300 damage. And that's against a man with defense. That is, that is against a man with defense. My passive is proc. Look at my damage. He... This character is 100% an ability-based character. My ult... Yeah, 1,300 damage. 1300 damage and 970 mitigated. So what did that do? That did 2295 damage. Like if if you if you had someone sunder Steve before and reduce the prots that he had from his from his breastplate or if I just built more percent pen because I only have 20%. Um yeah, that would have done 2000 damage. I would have legitimately one hit him with an ability that by the way leaves me untargetable in the air for three seconds but it feels like five that's my first look dude i don't know i think he's absolutely insane i think he's going to be a force to be reckoned with i think ability based is the way to build him um you could try auto attack based like attack speed based however i don't think you'll find as much success because the tick damage attached to his auto attacks don't actually proc item effects so like kins procs once per auto oboe is still only going to proc once every four autos you hit that tick damage is not going to do anything extra so power is really king it looks like and i want to see this victory screen he's back there big glow big glow he's creeping he's like a lion oh tail he's creeping where are you oh shit jumps up you're scared cuts your face off you know what honestly not as good as getting my my heart ripped out by hades with the tier 5 hades skin but still solid i hope you guys really enjoyed the video and 
I want to know what your thoughts are on, on Manticore. I know he's Manticore. So I'm just going to call him Manticore. Um, yeah, let me know your build opportunities that or the, the builds you're using and the opportunities you guys are using your abilities in. That stealth could be really fun in Conquest. I might make a Manticore Conquest video if that's something you guys would like. Make sure you comment that down. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.